My name is Randy Curry from the Knox Bay Astronomy Club. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a 12 inch collapsible dock. The first thing I do is I take the base out and I always check the knobs that hold the tube in place. And there's a little screw and I just twist it to make sure they're all tight. Then I'll grab the tube and just set it in there. So I set it in there like that. I have my eyepiece towards me. And once you have the tube in place, you have two uh, screw and handles, and they just go in the sides to tighten up. And you do them both at the same time. One turns one way, the other turns the other way. And I give them uh, an extra quarter turn. You don't have to do it, do it crazy tight. And there. And so now it's ready to go. Um, now the next thing I do is I uh, loosen these little screws that tightens this, the, the truss. There's three of them. So you just unloosen them a little bit. And then you, you grab, I, I grab just under there and the other side and try and make it equal when you pull it up. And sometimes you have to just give it a little tug. Once you get it all all the way up. I had a little trouble because the, it's a little cooler and it's binding a bit. But once you get it up, then you retighten them. And when you get that right up to the top, you'll hear it click into place. So I'll just take the three of them. And this is, uh, so you're pr pretty much ready to go. Now, the other thing, now I have my cap on here. I have my shield to protect the secondary. Now the other thing that you have, like on mine, uh, it automatically comes with a finder scope, but I have an attachment for a telrad. Some people use a red dot. I, I prefer the telrad, but uh, okay, so that's that's your finder scope here, and that's your telrad. So I'm just gonna put this in my pocket for a second. Okay, so for the finder scope, just loosen it up. There's nut. Might have to loosen up a fair bit. And then it's just it's got a kind of an angle, like a dovetail. And it just slides right in. And it's hard to see from here, but it just slides in and then just hold it to the top and then just tighten it right up. And then and then you're good to go with that. But the tail rad, it's a little different. So the window part goes to the back. Now I'm just leaving the, what do you call it, the covers on for now, just because it's starting to snow or blurring a little bit. So the same thing with this. I have two basic screws. So I'm just going to unwind them a little bit. So I put them in and it should come and that was good. So that actually set in right away. And then you just tighten them up. There's two of them. And then before you actually kind of move the scope around, just move the tail rod and this here just to make sure it doesn't it's in properly. And then then you're ready to go. And then the uh, eyepiece, you just basically you have an eyepiece, there's two little knobs to loosen. This comes out, this would be for a two inch eyepiece. I'll grab one in a second. So a closer view of putting the uh, finder scope on, you can see it has uh, kind of a angled uh, base to it and it just fits right in there. And 
mine you just put it from the bottom and just slide it in and I just hold it with a thumb and on the other side there's a screw and I just tighten that up so that shows it in place there now with my tail rad I don't know if I'm gonna move the camera just a touch okay hopefully you can see it from there uh, so there's two screws now with this the glass piece goes to the back and there's two well four little feet and they just go in one and then the other and you just want to make sure that they're that they're flush as you can see there and there and then you just tighten it up with the screw and the same with that one and as a rule of thumb I always once I tighten them I always just touch them just make sure they're not gonna fall same with this one and now I can move it around and it's set in place properly okay so I got my two inch eyepiece it just it slides in fairly easy and then you the same thing you just tighten it up hold it in place and you can change eyepieces when you're doing some viewing that's a 30 millimeter and it uh, gives me a fairly good piece of the sky and then if I want to see an object a little closer then the numbers will go a little lower so it'll be like say a 20 millimeter will bring the object closer so so now I got everything set up just the way I want it uh, so it rolls this way comes up and down this way so with the collapsible 12 inch uh, there's a big gap here and a lot of people they have a shroud or a skirt they call it that covers the whole gap what I did with mine is I um, so it, so when I put the shroud on so it, do, it doesn't sag like I'm tilted like that but then material may sag and uh, cut part of the image so I have three extra dowels that keeps it out and then I got some material I had a good friend of mine sew it up just a little bit in the center so basically all I do and I have the ends velcroed so this here just I just put it over the whole thing Actually, I just use it as this comes off anyways I just put it over this goes over the whole thing like this and this is to help with the stray light so when you're viewing in the night sky Okay, so I get the shroud right over, and then I just basically I'll, I'll turn it to this side, so that the, where I'm putting it together is on the bottom. And then that just comes up, and because of this Velcro, I just tighten it. And the material is kind of a stretchy material, and I do the same on the bottom. So, it's something like that. And then, so when you're going out viewing, there's no light and it won't just uh, distract your view in the night sky. So now with the shroud on, I have my eyepiece in place, my finder scope and my tail rod. I'm all set to go and I would enjoy some pretty good viewing like this. Thank you for watching.